Here is my ultimate technique. Like my gang signs, West Side. Uh. Hey people, welcome to 3 a.m. Epiphanies. And this is my new mini series. We're gonna call it Background Noise. And um, I decided to start this just because every day, every night, when I'm going to bed, I have to listen to something to go to sleep. And you know what? It's about time I pay it forward and pay it back because I know there's plenty of people who are just trying to go to sleep and they have to get their thoughts going and they have to think about something to help them doze off. So, here you go. This first episode is gonna go to people who are very near and dear to my heart. The kind of people who anytime I see them out, anytime I see them struggling, I always have to help them. If I'm in a party and I see them in a corner, or if I'm in a social situation and I see them struggling, these are the people I gravitate to and I pull them into the mix because all I know that you people, you crazy people, you just need that one little push. If I push you in the right, the right direction, then your life will go a lot easier and you socializing with people goes a lot easier. Yes, I'm talking about you. You're listening, I know your heart is pumping, I know you're cringing, because I'm talking about you. I'm talking about the weirdo, yeah. <laughs> and the thing about weirdos, or the specific kind of weirdo we're talking about, are people who are socially anxious. We tend to live in our head. And it's because we live in our head, we are always on analyze mode. And when you're on analyze mode, you put all of your energy into thinking. And I will tell you from experience, spontaneity is a skill in of itself that you have to master. Spontaneity is hard to master, but it can be done. And remember, when you, were in a, when you were in your child days and your elementary games, you could never fit in and you were too afraid to approach people and make yourself fit in. And especially for um, young men, if you're not a pretty girl, or if you're not a girl in general, and this is no diss to my ladies, but I'm saying the way boys communicate is different from that of girls. A girl, if a girl sees another girl and she sees her in the elevator, she will say, how do you think the weather is today? Whereas a guy will say, the weather is kind of cool today. And the difference between that is, girls are more inclusive in the way that they talk versus the guys. So if you're a weird dude, things are that much more worse for you. Because, especially uh, somebody like me, I was tall and quiet. What's wrong with that? If you tall and quiet, it's a little more creepy, quote unquote, than if you short and quiet. You know the short dude, he might be, he might be oh you're adorable, you're, you're, you're so nice. And when you're tall and quiet, you just sit there, you don't really say nothing, they're like, oh, he's creepy. I feel like every time he looks down on me, he might, you know, I feel like he's staring at me, you know, things like that. And weird girls i'm pretty sure they have just as hard of a time because when you weird in a girl and somebody actually does walk up to you to say hello you might say something stupid trying to imitate what you see on tv so you're like yeah girl and i'm like why are you why, why are you why are you overacting stop it <laughs> but um moving on I remember the little games we used to make up when we were all by ourselves, when you're all by yourself and there's nobody there, especially because you don't want to go and talk to people, what you do is you make up these little games, you might pick up your hand and take the other hand and you're playing the Mortal Kombat, especially because you don't have your cell phone around, so you're just making your hands do little fights, or you might do something like you're, you're staring at people and you're people watching, that's something weird else tend to do, it's one of my favorite pastimes too, we people watch and you're trying not to get caught people watching people like what are you staring at you weirdo <laughs> and what you must know 
is that it gets better and the first way it gets better is you have to get up and go out and risk your self-esteem yes I said it you have to risk your self-esteem if you want to get anywhere because if you don't risk it you get no reward and you might walk up to somebody and be stupid and sound stupid because your heart is beating fast and you don't want to say the wrong thing but the more mistakes you make the better you become and it's gonna be a lot it's just um if you're in your high school and you're in your, your middle school and you're listening hear this it's going to get better especially after you get out of grade school because you have what's called relative anonymity relative anonymity means don't nobody know you so you can mess up those first impressions you make you can afford to miss them for the first zone, those first impressions because there will be another person that you can go and meet you will get another chance to make a first impression with another person it's not like elementary school because trust me I know school kids I know you have it hard because elementary school high school is brutal children are ruthless if you have one little flaw people will take that and exploit it against you so that they can make themselves look better I am guilty of this myself <laughs> I think we all are um, whenever that's that one weird kid and even though the moral thing is to reach out to that kid and don't bully him and um, I never bullied anybody we didn't take things too far at least from where I was standing but if you saw that he was a little more weird than you and you could leverage this to fit in a little bit more you wouldn't be the cool kid but you wouldn't be at the bottom then you you would do it <laughs> and what you do um, one thing widows tend to do is one of our first defense mechanisms that we create is when we get into a room full of people that we don't know we start sizing people up They're like okay what's this guy's flaw what's that guy's flaw what's that guy's flaw and you take it and you you, you kind of set up an emotional gun and with that emotional gun you have bullets for every single person that just might test you if somebody says like if somebody fires shots at you that might say something like gosh she's so weird or like why is your neck so long gosh and you already have something ready to go you're like well at least my face doesn't look like a pringle chip or you might say something like gosh i bet your mother is shaped like an eggplant and i hope people are like Ooh, oh oh It's different when you like like one thing I did notice is 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 if you're a dude and you're already the bad guy or the one that people will pick on, I'm speaking from experience, you cannot make fun of a girl's weight at all. <laughs> and somebody picks on you and say, Oh your your hair is so shaggy or like your neck is so long and you say, Well, at least I'm not a big chick or this and that or blah 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 you'd be like fat 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 everybody is gonna come down on you it's like oh my gosh what kind of man are you why would you ever make fun of a girl's weight <laughs> these are the little things you have to you have to be aware of if you if you want to get out of the bad guy position like, gosh what widows we are always the bad guy it doesn't matter what we do like we are daffy duck we are team rocket we are who's another bad guy that nobody understands <laughs> not quite timmy turner timmy turner he's a he's a weirdo but he's the main antagonist we are everybody hates chris we are we're not even Carlton, we jazz. Every time we do something, somebody's Uncle Phil wants to throw us out the window. <laughs> it's not fair. We are Banana Joe. 
<laughs> Banana Joe is always trying to have a good time. Banana Joe not bothering nobody. He just doing his own thing. He like, hey guys. And Banana Joe is always trying to make some friends. That's all he wants to do. He just wants to make some friends and have a good time and show people how to be. You know, he wants to be cool. But it doesn't matter what Banana Joe does. He's a person you love to hate. We are Banana Joe. We are 10 times worse than Squidward. Because Squidward... Squidward, he's a bad guy, he's stoic, he doesn't care, but he does this because he wants to, but Banana Joe, <laughs> and by Banana Joe, you said, banana -na, banana -na 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 -na. in theory, that was the coolest thing ever, but they're like, who this, who this, who this cat, nobody, going somewhere, <laughs> and the first step to getting out of that weirdo position is you have to hire somebody to identify with. I struggle with this with this myself. I'm always looking for some people, for a group of people that I belong to. It's one thing if you could fit in with everybody, but what you will find is you fit in with everybody, but you belong to nobody. In high school, I was in arts. I was on the varsity basketball team. I was in the math club. I was in band. I was all that. So yeah, you 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 were in band, but you weren't band enough. You were in the art club, but you weren't artsy enough. You were with the, the, the athletes, but you weren't cool enough. And you find yourself, when you go to your lunch tables, you're looking for somebody who you could hang out with. And you might go to one table one day, then you go to the next table the next day, and you know? You find you're not being invited to the party, so find somewhere where you belong. It's okay to mix with other people, but understand the popular. Not everybody can just be Mr. Popular. <laughs> Man, good times. But understand, it does get better. It really does get better, and we also have to stop being so defensive. We need to stop assuming that everybody is against us because we feel so isolated. And I understand it. You want to be loved. You want to be cared about. You want people to notice you. And when somebody does, like when you notice people aren't noticing you, it's not because they are bad people. And you might want to be a jerk. You might want to be just mean. You know, not, not mean, but just sarcastic and just an asshole this isn't the way to go because all you're gonna do is perpetuate what people think about you or what you perceive people think about you and you are just fulfilling the prophecy you have to just I don't know I don't know but this is why this is background noise my job is just here to talk <laughs> Just talk about whatever to give you something to listen to while, while you're in your bed, while you're on your morning trip to work, while you just want something to think about. That's probably somebody listening to this and you're doing your final exam paper, you're probably working on in a project and you just want something to listen to to keep you from going mad. You're welcome. <laughs> but uh, yeah. This has been a uh, background noise. I'll try to keep these things under 15 minutes. Maybe if things pick up, then we can start a little podcast. I have a new appreciation for people who do these kind of things because whenever you're in sleepy mode, even five minutes feels like 30 seconds listening to somebody. But when you're on the other end, talking about whatever, those 15 minutes feel like 15 hours. <laughs> Um, maybe it's because I'm new to this. Um, last thing I want to say is um, once you conquer one area that you feel comfortable in, you have to venture outside of that. Because what it's going to do is it's going to prepare you for the world. You're going to have the people that you're comfortable with, but you need to understand how to move in different spaces. So you might hang out with one people one day, but you need to learn how to communicate with another type of people the next day. Because there's going to be a day where the world forces you outside of your comfort zone. And when you're outside of that comfort zone, it's when things that you've worked on come into play. 
So if you don't work on being around different kind of people, different kind of people that might make you nervous, you are good. You're gonna revert back to your weirdo syndrome. <laughs> so um, work on that. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. Thanks for listening to me rap. So whatever. Um, follow the boy on 3 a.m. epiphanies. I like to give y'all these little animations. Um, to help you relate to the thing better. Um. Yeah, follow your boy on Instagram, follow me, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep these things coming. I don't expect to have a big subscriber base, I really and truly don't. Um, but for the people I give something for, um, thanks for listening. Peace.